Hey everyone, today I wanted to show you a couple more examples of On One Photo Raw's Tack Sharp AI. So I have this shot I took of a dragonfly many years ago. It was shot with a 100 to 400 millimeter lens on my Canon 40D. I miss that lens. But I also used extension tubes. Now from this distance it looks fine, but if I zoom in here at 100%, you see that I missed focus because as you know when you're using extension tubes, you practically have to manual focus. But instead of throwing it away, let's put it through TacSharp AI and see the results we can get. So we're going to go ahead and trigger that. And you see, once it's applied, here's the before, here's the after. We see now these little details start to come to life. Let's do another before and after. Let's zoom in a little closer there so you can really see what's happening here. Now there is a bit of noise, obviously, so we can bring up the luminance slider here to get rid of the noise. It does start to smoothen out a bit. We can maybe balance out the micro sharpening here. Let's see if we can pull a bit more detail without causing too much noise. And if we back off here, let's do before and after. There's the before, there's the after. And again, if you really look at this area here, all those little details start to come to life. Let's look at it at 100% here. There's the before and there's the after. Not exactly good enough for print quality. I mean, from regular viewing distance, most people wouldn't recognize that. But for social media posts on Instagram, Vero, wherever you're posting your pictures, it does a pretty good job. Now in this example, I have another shot, uh, but this time it's in focus. The reason why I wanted to show you this using TacSharp AI is because I wanted to see the capabilities with a good image that needs just a bit of sharpening to bring out those details. So let's go ahead and trigger TacSharp AI and No Noise AI. And here we have the results. There's the before and there's the after. You can really see the eye scales, I guess you could call them. And again, the hairs around the mouth of the dragonfly, even more defined, even more pronounced. So again, let's do before and after. Let's zoom back out. There's the before, there's the after. Now let's zoom in quite a bit more here. You'll notice there is some noise because of the sharpening. We can bring up the luminance until that goes away. Personally, for me, this doesn't bother me, so I'd probably leave it that way. I could enhance the detail even more here, either in no noise or in tack sharp. The micro sharpening really brings out those little details. If I bring the slider all the way to the right, you see how much more sharper things get. But of course, it's going to introduce more noise just have to find a good balance. I'm actually going to bring this down a little bit here and you start to see some weird artifacting here. Again, this could be because it's a beta version, but if we zoom back out here and I do a before and after, you can clearly see the differences. Here's the before, here's the after. Let's zoom in once again, before and after. So from this demonstration, you can see how TacSharp AI works really well in bringing out those small details. Now it's not perfect and it's not going to solve every issue you have. For example, I have this photo that I took many years ago. It was actually a series of photos and fortunately I got some good ones in focus and I was a little disappointed with this one because I like the composition, the position of the great blue heron here, but my focus was mostly at the back here because I was panning with my zoom lens, right? And back then the 40D, the autofocus and the 100 to 400 millimeter lens isn't the fastest combination. If you look at the heron's face, uh, it's slightly out of focus, which is not a huge deal from regular viewing distance, but I was curious to see if TacSharp AI can and sharpen the face just a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and trigger it and see the results we can get. So from this distance, if we do before and after, we do see it's a bit more defined and it does improve it a little bit. 
as we zoom in closer, you'll start to see some artifacting around the head here. Although it gives you the perception of sharpness, what it's really doing is just making the details a bit darker, more bolder to emphasize the details a bit more. So in this case, I would say doesn't really work well. And I think because of the focal length, how far the subject is from the lens, things like that. And I suppose I could do a mask and just highlight this area here to give you the illusion of sharpening and leave the rest alone. But I wanted to point out that this isn't going to be a be all end all solution. And much like the noise reduction software, you're going to have different results based on your image. As mentioned previously, this is just the beta version, so things can improve upon the initial release. I'll be sure to do some follow-up videos on these and do some quick comparisons. Now, if you want to check out more on On One Photo Raw 2023, make sure to check out this video and stay tuned as I'm going to cover some of the masking improvements that they've made for On One Photo Raw 2023. Until the next video, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.